what needs to be done to get legislators to look at why cost of insurance is higher in 32808 in the other areas. And so that was something that I talked about with the assignment of benefits bill. Um, because of that bill, I believe you're going to start to see you're going to start to see uh, lower rates. That's why we work so hard on that assignment of benefits bill. It it takes effect July one, so it's, it's in effect now. So it may take a little bit of time for you to see the effects of it, but but uh, I believe you will see the effects. I have a question What's about that. What's that bill again? You said the assignment bill? Assignment of benefits. So okay. it's, H it's HB 7065. Thank you. I have a question about that, Senator Bracey. Yes. Um, so I think that's an excellent question because I live in 32808. And at the moment, the people in my area have had to purchase flood insurance because of the fact that CNL Financial built Princeton Oaks Industrial Warehouse less than set up within 75 feet of our neighborhood. So we're already having problems with flooding. Um, we just got notice that another developer wants to um, destroy the uh, wetland forest that is immediately adjacent to my neighborhood to build another development. Across John Young Parkway, we've got the city of Orlando and Dr. Phillips wanting to destroy that forest in order to build the recreational park tennis courts for the packing district and these tennis courts could go anywhere else other than on top of the place where, one of the places where the Wakaiba River starts. So as it relates to the insurance, one, now the people in my neighborhood have to buy flood insurance. Two, we are very concerned about the fact that we are losing all of our protection. The forest next to my neighborhood protects everybody on Mercy Drive in my neighborhood. Um, Princeton Oaks took out 60 acres of that forest. Now they're trying to take out the back 60 acres. And then across John Young Parkway, that forest is gone. That approximately 200 acres of forest have been providing air pollution protection for us. Because now that they've widened John Young Parkway, there's going to be a whole lot of tractor trailers heading down John Young Parkway. So that means people, if we lose that protection of those forests, people's medical insurance is going to go up because tractor trailers emit cancer-causing diesel exhaust. So it's going to be exposing the entire Mercy Drive and College Park area to these, this, these cancer-causing diesel fumes. And with as many trucks are, that are going to be going down there, that's a lot of people who are going to have cancer. Uh, Representative Brown mentioned how African Americans are predisposed to having cancer. We're also predisposed to having respiratory diseases and air pollution contributes greatly to those respiratory diseases. And we have a lot of senior citizens both in College Park and on the Mercy Drive area. So my question is, there, as you know, there was the Little Wakaiba River bill that two years in a row, first, you were, I will say thank you for sponsoring that bill. But I am extremely concerned because of the fact that in the first year, even though we didn't get a house companion bill for it, from what I have learned, this year, there were opportunities to be able to piggyback that bill on another bill, and that wasn't something that your office chose to do. This year, we had, you, you were kind enough to get the first Senate committee chair to actually put it on the docket so that it was brought forward, and I appreciate that. When the time came to present the bill, you were <coughs> kind enough to read the bill, but you didn't say anything else. Fortunately, I was there to be able to supplement what you said, but then, it seems that the support died. It didn't go to the next committee. And my understanding is because the city of Orlando lobbied to get an amendment that you put into the bill that basically was a loophole as big as this building to allow them to continue to build the Packing District Park, which means they get to destroy the entire forest. Now, the bill died, and the next committee didn't go anywhere. But my question is, my community is getting ready to basically be between all the semi-trucks going to Princeton Oaks Warehouse all the semi-trucks going down John Young Parkway, the loss of all of that uh, Wakaiba uh, headwaters forest, um, not to mention, I, I, that's a whole different conversation about how it's going to uh, increase the possibility of having a blue-green algae bloom in the Wakaiba River because you're destroying wetlands that are currently protecting the Wakaiba River. So my question is, the city of Orlando is made up of the mayor and what, five council members, six council members, that's seven people who might vote for you to be in office next time. In my neighborhood, there's over 500 people, most of whom probably voted for you, 
people in College Park. I'm not sure if that's your district, but it is. Some of them probably voted for you. Why is it that the city of Orlando was more important to you than all of the constituents whose health is at risk here that voted for you as their representative to make sure that their interests were taking priority over the interests of seven people for this, at the city of Orlando? Well, I will tell you, if you, if you understand the political process, the city of Orlando, like you said, lobbied the, uh, the, the chairman of that committee. I would not have gotten a hearing if I didn't put that amendment on there for the city of Orlando. So if you would rather, like last year, were it not to even move at all, but to keep the bill the way it was, then, then so be it. But there was an agreement, there was the chairman of the committee said, if this amendment doesn't get on there, I'm not going to hear the bill. So that was what I did to try to get the bill moving forward. Okay, if, if, but, if, but Senator Bracey, out of all due respect, yesterday, yesterday, because we're talking about Senate Bill 1772, and I know Dr. Jones, but yesterday the city approved again to take 4.8 acres, in addition to the one she's talked about, to that are for federal protected wetlands. And then tomorrow at the Northwest Community Center is another meeting for another developer to come in and take more land from the wetland. The city's allocated $480,000 to fight the citizens of Orlando. And I, we had this conversation. What we want you to understand is you took the bill off, but we protecting the city that's killing our community. And you know what's happening to air quality. Just what's in that paraboard, that's next Mercy Drive, is always communities of color. Our environment is so important to us. We have respiratory issues, but no one is talking about the deaths that we're beginning to see because of these complications. Mm -hmm. So what we're telling you is people are dying in paraboard and, and not getting sick in Mercy Drive. Not to beat you up, to tell you it hurt the community more than you will ever imagine. People are sick. We can't get the city to do a health disparity study, which the Hub and the Post pointed out, the EPA has pointed out, but they can protect trees and do everything they want to. So the people of color that look like us, they don't care about our health. So all the bills that you talked about, that is hurting our community more than you could ever imagine, protecting those lobbyists.